Good afternoon. Welcome to episode 435. Today's topic is the lies we tell ourselves. We had some fun with this one, I think. Before I start with that, let me introduce myself. My name is Barry Selby. I am a best selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert, helping strong, successful women find balance in love, life, and business. I'm also a passionate champion of the divine feminine. And lately, I've become the champion of self love in my talks, but let's see what happens today. Um, I also have a self-love program I just launched that may come up in the topic, but not presuming so. So, today's topic is, and again, oh, let me add one thing to the preface. Every day now, for well over a year, I've been doing these talks called Messages to the Masculine to Inspire the Feminine Heart. This is number 435 in an ongoing series, series of daily talks, because there's no end in sight, apparently, and I keep going. And today's topic is um, the lies we tell ourselves, because... We tell ourselves doozies just as a way of life. And the reason why this came up actually was um, talking to a client about something and she said something that was like, excuse me? And what I realized is that we have a way of using language out of context. In fact, we have a way of using descriptions that are so outside the realm of being reality that we just say it without thinking. The problem is that what we're saying is being heard. So let me get to that in a second. So in this instance, what she was saying, um, she was saying basically, like, because I was saying, you seem very busy. And she was saying, well, I'm drowning. And I was like, you might want to rephrase that question. Because I said, first of all, your body's listening. And two, so your awareness. So are you really going to imagine you're going to start drowning on dry land? And she's like, oh, hang on a second. It's like, yeah, this is the thing. We, have, we as general people, I'm talking about generally, this, the royal we, sorry, not the royal we, but the regular we, we as people generally have this really bad habit of lying about stuff. And we tell ourselves those lies. Now, I'm going to go a bit deeper because I'm talking about the surface stuff right now. But if you listen to people's conversations and if you've listened to yourself in conversation, you may notice that you say things and suddenly hear things that if you're listening as a um, alien from space translating directly through the translator, you would be going, what are they talking about? Because they'll say, you, we, us, take, say some really silly things at times that are basically lies. Now, sometimes it works as lies on the positive, but more often it seems to be lies on the negative, and I'll get into that in a second. So, for example, to um, say things to somebody where you want to stroke their ego rather than telling the truth is one of those things, one of those little nuances that has some... Um, I say this in a nice way. It's um, ego stroking bullshit. <laughs> That's perhaps on the positive side, but it's not always on that case. But what I really want to get to, and I'm, I'm going to sort of leave that on the shelf because what I really want to get to is what we tell ourselves and how we have a tendency to lie to ourselves negatively so that we don't get what we want, we don't have what we want, we don't get where we want to go. And that, my friends, is a definite disservice to you and for the world. And this has been coming up for me recently personally, um, partly because I'm in the process of doing some development my own work and stepping into a new part of leadership. And I've been journaling about this thanks to my friend Gina who's watching, who's been inspiring me on so many levels with her, her, her videos and something she's been write, um, journaling about which would give me inspiration to recognize that I've been using a lot of excuses to limit my possibilities. So I'm speaking for this personally, but I'm suggesting you take this on for yourself because these are not, well, let me be transparent. I'm very clear, this is not just my own personal stuff. This is stuff we all deal with. So let me offer you some suggestions as I'm offering myself the same suggestions. So first of all, I started journaling accuracy. What I mean by that is I started writing down what I believe to be coming, be happening, be true for me. Yes, they're not actually in existence yet, but it's certainly within the realm of possibility and they're a direction for me to head in. See, this is the thing. When we tell ourselves negative things, we're putting those in, into our reality, which means we start to, um, I would say, not, not as much crash and burn, but that we are setting ourselves up, setting ourselves up for failure. Nobody, let me be clear, it's, nobody made that rule. You don't have to do that. You can, in fact, set yourself up for success. What a concept. And since you have a choice of setting yourself up for failure or for success, 
Which would you choose? I would suspect if you're like me, after you realize what you've been doing, you're gonna go, you know, I think I'd rather choose myself some success and set myself up for that way. So what I've been doing for myself, again, because of uh, my friend's input, um, is really starting to get clear about what that is. So journaling, writing down, which is not something I'm really often, I don't often do. In fact, that's the thing for me. Journaling is something that I don't do that often. Yes, I admit this. I've been telling my clients for years to journal this, and I don't do it myself, coming clean. Um, because journaling, isn't, I, I don't write that much. I'm so, I've am so i been on computers since the late 70s. So I'm a keyboard user. So to journal, handwriting, my, to be honest, my handwriting is pretty atrocious. So a lot of times I write things down, I can't read what I wrote. So I'm some, somewhat averse to doing journaling, but I'm doing it this time because I have to. However, the caveat is for me, because I need to be able to read what I wrote, is as soon as I write it down, I type it into my memos on my computer so I can keep it on my phone, iPad, and computer so I can at least remember what I wrote. Because the journaling is the visceral act of getting it out of your physical self by hand, and that's an important piece of the process. Because by journaling, what you're actually doing is instructing the body what you believe. And the reality is that what happens is the muscles in your hand when you're writing are very different from the muscles when you're typing. And so by doing the activation of those muscles when you're writing, your body takes, in, takes notes. So when you're writing stuff in the journal, especially affirmative, positive things, that goes in just like anything else does. So the choice you get to make is what are you going to write? Because the thing is, you already listen to what you're saying. Why not make it more powerful and write it down? And secondly, choose your words carefully. This lying to ourselves is a habit that is, is everywhere. And as I said, for me personally, I've been dealing with this as well. And what I've been noticing, just to be another level of transparency, is not believing that I'm a, as powerful as I, as I am, and not as I can be. I, was, I caught myself in the middle of that one. Because I'm recognizing now more and more that the work I'm doing, the message I'm bringing, and the feedback I'm getting is I've been holding back a lot. And I am basically in a place now where I've got to say, enough. I can't, excuse me, I won't, because <laughs> I can, I won't say that I can't do that anymore. What I'm clear about now is that what I'm stepping into is much bigger than I planned, much bigger than I'm comfortable with, but it's the reality I've got to step into. So by, to do that, I've got to reinforce my understanding and reinforce my trust in myself by journaling, writing down, and affirming what that which I'm now creating, because I'm creating it. I mean, literally, I, I sat down this week after having finished the, um, um, the video, the, the book trailer for the, sorry, the video trailer for the book that is coming out a week, which is the second book I'm the book I'm part of, which is my second book, which is called Love Revolution. That's coming out very shortly. And then I dived into I've now written that I'm just now doing the audio for this home home study is not the right word. It's called it's called the self love. I don't remember the words. Self love mirror meditation practice guidebook. That's the word guidebook. I, I need a better word. But this is the thing. I've I've created this this peace because it's been demanded by my clients and by my audience because they want to have some sort of practice. So I figured, okay, I'll give them something written down. But I realized that he's give something the, um, audio as well because for a lot of people out there, to read and do something is hard to do. But what I've done is now created an audio, well, I'm editing it now, the audio accompaniment so that when you do this, you can actually listen to my voice in your ear if you wish. Whilst you're doing the exercise in the mirror, and it'll guide you through it step by step. And that, for me, is part of my work and I was I was frankly honestly lying to myself by saying that nobody would want it but you know feedback has happened that I cannot say no now so that now I'm basically I've got to do it so I'm stepping into it and it's actually getting easier because I'm not fighting myself anymore this is one of the benefits by the way of not lying to yourself is that I'm realizing more and more that when I say yes to this when I step into this and as I speak more transparently and more authentically and more authoritative authoritatively from a place of authority, that's the word I'm looking for. With what I know to be true, have experience with it to be true, and I know that it works, people listen. And it's not a place of like, look at me, I'm telling people and they're listening. It's more about, I'm in a place that I can surf from because I trust what's coming through me is accurate. If you see my Facebook Lives, and this is number 435, I've done a few of these now, over 400. You think before this time I get this, but it's taken me time to get it, so now I'm getting it. So it's getting clear now that the work I'm doing is now the value. So this self-love practice, this self-love, um, I call it a guidebook because it's not, it's not a program. It's a simple, well, it's 30 pages now. <laughs> it's a 30-page um, workbook in a way 
with the attached audio to guide you through self-love practices so you can actually learn to love yourself more effectively using a mirror. It's not hard to do, although I did have a deeper level that came up in the middle of it which I've written down in there as well. I'm not telling you about that unless you get the workbook itself. That will actually help you with body issues as well. And what I realize more and more is that it's not so much why, why should I do it, it's why should I not do it. This is such a thing now that I'm realizing more and more that there's demand for. And so I knew that I could sit there and, and say, no, I'll never do it. Somebody else will do it eventually. But to be honest, I got really clear. My work is to live this, teach this, share this, and inspire people with it. So what I'm getting cl clear, sorry, I'll try that one again, wrong teeth in. <laughs> I'm seriously good at this stuff. What I'm saying now, publicly, I've, I've t I had it on a call, I was on a call earlier today and talked about it too, that I am clear now that my work is to speak and serve and inspire audiences through ideas, images, downloads, perspectives that will land. Um, yes, I'm still coaching, but the truth is what I've been hiding in, in the back room, as it were, is public speaking. And I'm getting clear now, my message is getting strong enough that it needs to, be to, it needs to hit more people because th there's time for it. This is the biggest time, I think, ever on the planet where we need to have more inspiring speakers, guides, facilitators, reminders that we are worthy of love and deserving of love. And that's my message I'm bringing out more publicly, which is why the self-love program, excuse me, self-love workbook is out. Um, so this is the beginning of that. So if you're watching my broadcast, you know this is something that's been brewing. You probably saw it before I did. <laughs> but the reality is, is that I now clearly see the truth and listen to the truth, speak the truth and own the truth in my work, in my journaling, in my own self-support. And I invite you to do the same. Um, if you're interested in the um, self-love program, it's easy, you go to my name, website, barrysubby.com, forward slash self-love, easy as pie. So you can go check it out, you can, you can go and get it now and do it yourself. It's a potent, um, it's, actually more, it's actually more powerful than you think it is. And you can, the, audio, the audio will be up tonight, so you'll have both of them available. You can order it now and you'll get both of them sent to you. So you'll have the, the workbook and the 30-page the workbook, it's quite a, doc, quite a document now, and the, um, and the audio as well. If you know, yep, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this, okay, it came up to do. If you know any audiences, groups, events, organizations that need to hear the message I bring, I'm inviting connection to those organizations so I can speak to them. So if you know anybody, or if you have a play group, or you have an audience you want me to speak to, in person, publicly, ideally, um, message me, reach out to me. You can go to my website and click on the, the um, contact page or you can just simply message me over social media. Um, it's up for me now, so I'm speaking it out loud because that's the truth in me. So with that, I wanna say to you, where you are feeling that you're not getting what you want, check to see what you're telling yourself. Check to see what you're writing about yourself and check to see what you're thinking about yourself because you may discover that what you're thinking, saying and writing are lies. That what you're in fact you're not doing is owning your own power. So I want to make this clear. What you've been doing, quite possibly, is lying to yourself. Here's the feedback. Stop it. <laughs> to quote somebody, an old video from way back when. But here's the thing. You have the choice. You have the freedom. You can write about this now. So I'm inviting you, if you're doing this, to write about it, talk about it, Think about it. What's the positive you can have? What's the possibility you can have? What is the truth that you're willing to own from this point forward? And that I'm actually inviting you to reach out to me. If you, if you have that shift inside and you want to start talking about the truth, tell me, tell me about it. Write about it. Either, either put comments in this video or send me a message, however you want to do that. And let me know what, you what you're going to do differently. What's changing for you? What's uplifting for you? What's inspiring for you? Because it's time to bring that forward. So with that, I thank you for watching. Again, if you want to find out about my self-love self invitation, it's not a program, it's just shorter than that, go to barryselby.com forward slash self-love. And if you want coaching, support, and that sort of thing too, go to my website again, go to barryselby.com forward slash chat to sign up for a discovery session, my gift to you. And uh, I think that's it. Quick reminders, this is a Facebook Live video initially, but it goes on to YouTube and also goes on to my podcast. So we can find those three places is you can watch the replays of my Facebook Lives on my business page on Facebook, which is barryselby.author. You can also find the replays on YouTube, which is Barry Selby is the user, and message, message for the masculine is the playlist. 
and on iTunes my podcast is also Messages from the Masculine so sign up listen up tune in get turned on change your life be amazing and with that I thank you for watching we'll be back again tomorrow as always at 5pm Pacific time and uh, that'll be episode 436 I'll see you again tomorrow bye